Edmonton taxpayers will now take on another burden, the Citadel Theatre building downtown. It comes with an over $50 million renovation fee. Being left with a building without, without a core tenant like the Citadel uh, would not be uh, a good outcome for anyone. Friday, a City of Edmonton Executive Committee unanimously voting to approve a new lease between the theatre and the city that would see the City of Edmonton take on the share of renewal, repairs and maintenance costs. That adds up to over $1 million a year in maintenance costs, as well as over $56 million in renovations that will be spread out over the next 10 years. The deal will see the Citadel contribute at least $100,000 a year towards the building's costs and renovations. The deal still has to go before Council for a vote later this month and comes right after Council already voted to raise property taxes for Edmontonians. Councillor Ashley Salvador says while taxpayers may wonder why the city is taking taking on another building, the deal makes sense for Edmonton. Part of the, the rationale for me at least was um, this building would revert to the city regardless, um, so making sure that we have the best agreement in place. Part of the discussion Friday was around how Alberta's Bill 18, which requires the province's cities and towns to seek provincial approval before receiving federal funding, would impact the city getting money for the theatre. The city would have to seek provincial approval, the theatre itself wouldn't. Citadel theater officials told council they saw record attendance last year with more than 110,000 people seeing shows. Local actors tell me the Citadel gives them a home and contributes to Edmonton's art scene. With the type of shows that, that they were looking to, to create and cast and the, the playwrights that they were looking for, and it was amazing for me because I got an opportunity to do and be a part of plays in Edmonton in my own city. Before that, I didn't really feel like I had a, a home necessarily in the major playhouses that were in Edmonton and Calgary. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.